Hi, I'm Matt Kurt with Case IH. In this video, we're gonna cover a quick field startup procedure for the 2000 series early riser planner utilizing the Isobus solution with the AFS Pro 1200 display. This quick startup video assumes that you've already performed all of your pre-season setup for your planter, your tractor, and for your Pro 1200 display. So let's go through the process. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our planner UT and we're gonna choose our frame op mode. So I'm assuming that I'm at the corner of the field, I've just pulled in, I need to unfold. So I'm gonna use my frame uh, operation to go through the unfold wizard and I'll page through that unfold wizard and follow its directions to unfold my planner. Then once I've unfolded, I'll change my frame operation to plant mode. I'll configure a couple things based on uh, what I'm gonna do with my markers, whether I want my bar raise to be limited or full. And now I've put my planter frame operation uh, into plant. Next, I need to configure that I have the correct planter work condition selected for the work I'm gonna do in the field today. So three bar menu, caliper, and work condition set setup. I already have a couple different work conditions uh, configured in here. I'm gonna be planting corn today uh, with rate per side. So I've selected that work condition. So now I've confirmed that I have the correct planner work condition. I'm gonna go into the Pro 1200 work condition to make sure that I have it configured correctly for the work I'm about to do. So within this screen, I can see my planner work condition. I wanna confirm that my implement control is set up to rate per side like I have in my planner work condition within the UT screen. So I'm doing rate per side, which means I need to have length left and right here. So that is set up correctly. And I can page down to my overlap control and just confirm that I have my boundary and overlap control, section control set up correctly the way that I want it. Now that we've confirmed that our work condition is set up properly, we need to make sure that we have the correct grower farm field selected and our products assigned to our planter. So we're gonna go into the operation screen to do that. My grower farm field is found here. I just got done planting the East 80. I'm gonna move over to the West 80 now. I'm planting corn, so I'm ensuring that my crop type is selected as corn. And now I'm gonna move down and assign my products to my planter. So first I'm gonna select seed drive. Again, we're doing uh, right, left, and right. So we need to assign products for left and right. This is assuming I've got one product in my left bulk fill hopper and a different product in my right bulk fill hopper. So in the left bulk fill, I'm gonna assign this product DKC 1843-5. If I had a prescription created for that product, I could assign that here, but I do not have a prescription today. So we're going to move on to the right side of the planner. And in there I'm putting hybrid XY 123. You can see I have my default rates already pre-populated in there as well. So that's for the seed products. Now I need to configure my liquid product. So I'm gonna to go to liquid boom and I already have the product assigned, but I just wanna confirm that I have my starter liquid product assigned in there. So now that we've completed our precision farming setup within the Pro 1200, we're gonna go back into the planner UT to start up our planner systems to get it ready to go. So in order to get our planner up and going, first we wanna make sure that we've got the remotes activated that we need to activate on the tractor for my bulk fill system, uh, vac control, et cetera. So we're gonna go in and activate those remotes in the mo motor mode, and then I can start enabling those planner systems. So I can enable them individually, as you can see here in my planner UT screen, or I can utilize this planner system start. I'll press and hold. And that is gonna start up the planner system start process. And as you can see, 
It's going to enable my vac control, bulk fill, alternator, etc., all my planter systems on board. And it's also going to prime my seed meters so that they are full of seed and ready to go and ready to plant. So now that our planter is started up and ready to go, I may need to go through a few checklist items to uh, set up some of the minor details of the planter that I need to get ready, such as my row cleaner, row closer, I may need to go out, set my depth, etc. But once we've done that, our planter is ready to go. One thing to keep in mind, while planting with the AFS Pro 1200 display, if we're utilizing our display for mapping, rate, and section control, I need to utilize the planner ISO UDWs for rate control, as you can see on my run screen here. So we have our seed boom rate control and liquid boom rate control UDWs there. That is what I'm going to utilize uh, to control the rate on my planter. And of course, we have the ability to put a lot of different planner related ISO UDWs on any run screen. So I can set up my Pro 1200 uh, custom for uh, the way I want to run it when I'm running the planner or for my operator or whomever. So this has been a quick overview of field startup procedure for a ISO bus early riser planner utilizing the AFS Pro 1200 display. For more information, contact your local Case IH dealer or consult your operator's manual.